What's up everybody? We got a really cool little saw here to show you. This is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel 12 volt 3 inch brushless cordless cutoff saw. Can't wait to show you this thing. It's meant for precise cutting. It's really awesome. Let's get the review started. cutting saw they just came out with this not too long ago this is one of those tools that is not meant for every job but for the smaller jobs those precise cutting jobs this is a really cool tool check this thing out a little bit later in the video we are going to cut towel and still speaking of the m12 battery you don't get one for the tool that we're showing you here but you do get the dust extraction attachment right here and you also get the allen wrench along with the flange right there you also get three different types of blades you're gonna have one for tile you're gonna have one for metal and then you're gonna have one for drywall and softer materials rpm on this blade here is 21,000. the one on the tile 20,000, and the other blade 20,000 as well this is a good thing considering that the max rpm on this unit is 20,000. now just tossing your n12 battery we're using the 3.0 m12 battery we just popped it in the bottom look how it stands up on its own i thought that was pretty cool all right now as for blade changes very easy to do we're gonna pop that battery out so i don't chop my fingers off now you got a lock button right here on the back. All you gotta do is push that down. It'll lock it into place and then loosen up your bolt. Now once you remove that top flange, pick out the blade you're gonna use. We're gonna go with the metal cutter and we're just gonna toss her in. Throw your flange back up on top. Lock her down, it's ready to cut. That was really easy. Literally only takes a few seconds to get a new blade in there. Just make sure that that's locked down so it doesn't come flying out at you. Now you have a reverse, a forward, and a lock button right here. You have a white marker that will highlight the reverse, forward, or the lock position. Gotta be honest with you though, depending on which way you look at it, it's kind of off. Alright, so here's your trigger down here and you also get the LED light that turns on as soon as you pull the trigger. Now the blade kicks on very quickly, shuts off very quickly. I will say that it's not a variable speed. I thought it was, the trigger felt like it, but it's not. But now we're gonna cut some metal. We're just gonna see how this does. We got our metal cutting wheel on here. Now you can put that blade in forward or reverse depending on which way you want to actually shoot those sparks. Okay, again, this is the three inch wheel size. Now you can use two different arbor sizes, a 3 8 of an inch and a 7 16 of an inch. Now the maximum cutting depth on this saw is 0 0.64 inches. Maximum wheel thickness on this, you're looking at an eighth of an inch. And just to mention it again, RPM on this, 20,000. Now again, you can go in reverse or forward with this saw. Depending on which way you want to go, all you got to do is slide that lever left or right. Now this will allow you to take those sparks and pretty much put them where you need them to go instead of blowing back on you constantly. The guard actually does a really nice job controlling those sparks and pushing them out ahead of you or behind you if you want. Now mind you, this is a smaller saw for smaller jaws. Don't push down too hard on this saw because eventually it will slow down and stop on you. All right, let's change the blade out. Let's go with the towel cutting here. And again, put that flange on, make sure it's tight. Before we actually cut that towel, let me show you dust extractor right here. This part comes with the kit. Pretty nice, adjustable shoe. You can do different depths over here. All you'd have to do is take the top off, hook your vac up to that, and it'll suck all that dust off. Now, I wouldn't usually use this for towel cutting. But that being said, I want to show you how well it goes on. So all you got to do is take your saw, place it in there, push this button down. It'll lock in right there on the back of the guard. Now, once you get it, slide it right in here like so. Open that up so you can get that guard in. Push it down. It'll find that latch. It'll click in there. And once it's clicked in there, it's not going anywhere. And now what's really cool about this, you can actually back right up to that suck all that dust out you don't have to worry about it going all over the place 
Alright, let's cut some tile here real quick. Now, while we're doing this, I'll give you some stats on the weight and size of this. But I will tell you, again, this is not for very big jobs. You need to make some precise cuts. If you need to cut some tile to get around maybe a door jam or something like that, this is perfect for that. You don't have to worry about that large tile saw. You can take this out and actually do it that way. Just add some water. Alright, real quick, let's talk about the size. This is actually a very small saw. As far as it goes, the length... 7.1 inches. For the width, it's only 4.7 inches. The height, 3.2 inches. And it only weighs, without the battery, 1.5 pounds. Right, I'm gonna quit talking real quick. I'm gonna let you see this smaller cut here. And that's what this saw does so well. There you go, we cut steel, we cut tile. This saw is pretty awesome. It's very small. I love you can adjust the guard. And when you put that in the dust extractor, you can lift that arm up and down and put it wherever you want to go. It doesn't matter if you're left or right handed. I think this will be perfect for you. Very easy to use, very easy to operate. Again, if you push down too hard on it, you're gonna bog it down. If I were you, if you're gonna use this, let the saw do the work. Not only can you cut the tile, can you cut the steel, you can do drywall, you know, if you're doing electrical outlets and plaster, whatever you're doing, I'm telling you, I think this thing is going to be a lifesaver, a time saver for you. Definitely check it out. Really happy with it. Built very well. And the price isn't bad at all either. I'll put the link in the description below. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at tourreviewzone.com. We'll be back with more videos soon.